Hello everyone, Mike here, GadgetGoodClub.com, and I'm feeling kind of lazy. It's Sunday, I don't know where my remote controller is, but I'm getting bored of the show on Netflix, so I want to watch something else. I don't feel like getting up though, so you know what I can do? Oh, good thing I got the Apple Watch on. I can't imagine that they're trying to get the public to believe it. Don't mind. My hair. My dog's in the way. All right, so take two. So here we are. So let's go to the remote icon there. Right. And then menu. Oh, that's, you know what? Never mind. I want to uh, actually change my mind. I want to continue to watch this. So let's go. But you know what? I want to take a nap. Let me pause this. Watch it later. Especially Brian's family. So, isn't that beautiful? That is really awesome. Um, so you need an Apple TV, Apple Watch, obviously. Um, and then this thing is like so easy to connect. That's one of the things I like about Apple. It's so easy to connect. All you got to do, don't mind my hairy arms. <laughs> If you want to add device, it's literally all you do. But once, like, you're... I don't even think my Apple TV was on. But if it doesn't show up immediately, then most likely you just have to turn on your uh, your Apple TV. But it brings it up, and then you can find it. It's pretty awesome. So, and then it just works like your normal Apple TV remote controller it's awesome so like earlier today i was um you get the picture with the watch but earlier, earlier today i was around the house cleaning and i had on apple music and i can control the songs from the watch it's awesome so that is really cool thanks apple for the convenience i appreciate it